We're part of a movement, not of man, but of Abba Yah's spirit. It's something he's doing in the earth today. We may be few here today, although this is a wonderful group of people, but by technology, we speak to thousands. And we're seeing thousands with opened ears and opened eyes and soft hearts who are seeing the light of Torah, not having to, you know, twist their arms and try to argue over the whole thing, but just wanting to know the truth. And they're coming out of religion. They're coming out of Babylon. They're, some of them never had any religion. They're coming out of Egypt. But they want the truth. And they're receiving the power of Abiyah's spirit to be able to move forward even though they're ostracized by their families, by their friends, by their original Sunday congregations. And just like we saw with Yoshiahu and Nehemiah, they make covenants to follow Yah in his ways. And when they do that, they have great rejoicing and they walk in his blessing. It is the bride preparing herself. You are part of that movement now. The bride is preparing herself. And when Yeshua comes for his bride, he's not coming back for a foreign bride. He's not coming back for those who are walking in pagan ways. You don't get to dress yourself in pure white linen if you are defiled in pagan ways. And if you want to fight, and some do, they want to fight to protect their tree worship. They want to fight to protect their Easter bunnies and their painted eggs. And they will resist you. And they'll call you a law keeper. Ugh. You're obedient to the Bible. We just keep letting our light shine so that men and women would see our good works. You don't get to decide what good works are. Neither do I. What are your good works? Obedience to the Torah. They see you obeying the Torah. They see you walking in blessing. They see you rejoicing, filled with joy. And that makes them want to esteem greatly your Father who's in the heavenlies.